Man, I just want you to know that all things are working for your good. And it's such a beautiful uh, freedom when you really believe this. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes God gives us a vision and we mix it with our own feelings and our own ideas and our own emotions and we set ourselves up for a disappointment because we have these expectations. And so when these expectations that we had, whether it's timetables on how fast things should happen or how things should happen don't happen, we set ourselves up to be discouraged because of the way that we're thinking and the way that we see something, right? You got to get to the point where you fully are so liberated that you trust God that even if it doesn't happen how you thought it should happen, even if it doesn't come the way that you thought it should come, just the fact that knowing that God is the one that brings it and that God is in control should give you peace and knowing that he knows you better than you know you. He knows what's best for you. There's been so many times in my life where God led me to a certain place or he took certain people out of my life and I didn't understand it. And I wasn't happy about it, but maybe two years down the road, five years down the road, six months down the road, I look back and I said, man, God, you are such a genius. I completely understand why you did that. I, I didn't have the, the foresight or the insight to see, all right, what you were doing in that moment. But now I see that if I hadn't gone through this, I wouldn't be prepared for this. Now I see that you didn't move and promote me or allow me to get married or whatever it is, right? You didn't take me to that next level uh, because there were some things that had to happen here first in the middle. Because God, the way that the way that God does it, man, he's sitting from a place where he sees every decision that you make and how it's going to uh, affect those who are connected to you. He sees all the interactions, whether it's marriage, ministry, children, right? And so siblings, mom, dad, people who will be at your church, he sees that if I allow this to happen, there's going to be this reaction, this reaction, that reaction, that reaction. So before I allow this to happen, all right, I've got to fix this. I've got to deal with this person's character, this person who's connected to you. I've got to wait for this person to move out of your life and be exposed before I push you to the next level so that when you get here, it can be blessed. So it can be built on a rock. And sometimes that can be so hard for us because we want things in our timing or we want things how we think that they should be. And God will operate in a whole different way or like I said in the beginning of the video we'll have a vision and a dream from God but we've mixed it with our own feelings and emotions and so then we have these certain expectations and when it doesn't happen how we think it should happen and it doesn't move how we think it should happen we set ourselves up to be disappointed and discouraged but watch this true freedom is just knowing that look I'm walking through life and the Bible says that God will finish what he started started in me and whatever he has for me is for me right? So I don't have to be stressed like, oh man, I lost that. Or, oh man, it didn't go that way. Or, oh man, I'm doing something wrong. Like I, 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 it's not going to happen. As long as I keep seeking God and I'm positioning myself to hear from God and I'm positioning myself uh, 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 to, to spend time in his presence, man, God don't play games and God is not a liar and God is not a tease. He's going to give you what is best for you. The best spouse, the best relationship, the best situation, not only what's best for you to make you feel good but what does he say not thy will but uh not my will but thy will be done in earth as it is, is in heaven he's gonna get live give you the life that gives glory to him and see if you really want to be a follower of jesus christ if you really want to cast down your idols then you want to live a life that brings glory to him i want the marriage that's going to bring glory to god i want the ministry that's going to bring glory to god I want the opportunities and the friendships that are going to bring glory to God. All right. I want to do things, uh, even though I got my own ideas and my own vision, I want to do it in the way that it's going to bring the most glory to God, the see the most souls get saved and encouraged and ministered to. And man, I'm telling you, it's such a liberation uh, and freedom to walk in that. It's, it fills you with such joy because it's like, man, look, no matter what happens, it's working for my good. All right. Look, that didn't happen how I thought it. I thought I wanted it to happen. That didn't go down how I thought. And I had to go through the fire and I didn't understand. But when I went through the fire, it exposed some things in me. It exposed some people around me. So before I could get to this place, God allowed me to go through this, 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 this. And now like David, I could look back and say, man, it was good I was afflicted. Because man, I would have got involved with the wrong people. It was good that I learned this now because when I got to this place, I had wisdom, I had insight. And if I didn't learn this now, I would have messed it up over here. 
I had to go through all of these things. Or I would have messed it up over here, man. If you guys really knew how much God has, you know, he doesn't allow certain things to happen because he's protecting you or he's protecting your family because he's just, he's so wise. He's just protecting everybody. He's sitting outside of time and space. He's seeing all the moves. He knows all the moves and you sitting there just reacting to it, but he already knows how everything's going to play out. Trust him. Trust him. Even if you feel like your flesh don't agree or you don't like it, you got to remind yourself daily, man, I'm here for the glory of God. Not my own ideas, not my own dreams, not my own visions. You know, you got to be careful. God gives you a dream. He gives you a vision. But sometimes we mix it with our own little ideas and our own little things. And that can be rooted in pride. That can be rooted in vanity. That could be rooted in whatever. All right, but just know this, man, it is working for your good. Everything that you've been through is working for your good. Just trust God. Trust God and just be free. Be liberated in that freedom of knowing he got you. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name.